Good day and welcome to the Golf News Update for Tuesday, June the 23rd. Here are the top stories at this hour. More than 550 people have died due to a relentless heatwave in Pakistan in the last two days. The toll across the country has risen to 572 as people face severe hardship due to the worst load shedding in Ramadan. A US airstrike in northern Iraq has killed a Daesh operative who was a person of interest in the 2012 Benghazi attack. Pentagon spokesman Colonel Steve Warren said Tariq al Hazi of Tunisia was killed in Mosul on June the 15th. The US Treasury and the State Department had designated him a terrorist operating for or on behalf of Daesh. Hazi was considered a person of interest in the militant attack on the US mission in the eastern Libyan city of Benghazi in September 11th, 2012 that killed the American ambassador and three other Americans. A single-engine plane registered to Oscar-winning Titanic composer James Horner crashed on Monday in Southern California, but the identity of the one person who died has not been released. The crash happened at about 9.30 a.m. near Quetel Canyon in Los Padres National Forest. The pilot was killed. No one else was on board. A new case study suggests that wearing skinny jeans can lead to serious nerve damage in your lower legs if you spend the day in a squatting position. In a report in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery and Psychiatry, a team of doctors relay the cautionary tale of a 35-year-old woman who wound up lying prone on the pavement, unable to get up after spending the day in skinny jeans while helping a relative move. In this case, the woman's calf muscles responded to the lack of blood by swelling, but because she was wearing skinny jeans, the muscles swelled inwards, compressing another set of nerves and further cutting off blood supply to the muscles. And finally, the weather. Today's high across the UAE will be 39 degrees Celsius, dropping to 29 degrees at night. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. As always, you can get the latest news on golfnews.com.